Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Haley, your independent Sensi consultant. Happy Monday. Um, I hope you guys have had a great weekend and that you had a good kickoff to the week. It's kind of rainy and dreary here where I am. It was kind of cold today. It was like 60, I think it really only hit 62. The high was supposed to be 73, um, which is fine because yesterday it was 91 and disgusting out. Not complaining by any means, but I was not ready for it to get that warm that fast. Um, but I hope you guys have had a great weekend and that you guys have a great week. Uh, you'll be seeing me on here a lot this week. I've had a bunch of things come in and I slack on um, putting videos up and then I try to do like, oh, you know, put videos up Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, that never happens. So I'm just going to video and the day after. So today's Monday, which means really on Tuesday, you'll be watching this or whenever you watch it, but I'll upload it tomorrow. Um, I'm a little out of breath. It's been a day, but so that's probably you're going to see a lot of videos from me this week um, and then maybe it'll mellow out for a while, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, today is an what have I been warming haul. I forgot the name for a second because I have a couple other videos that I have to record today as well. Um, so I did, I want to say probably two, two and a half weeks ago, I did a melting basket and I finally got through things. So I was trying to like, okay, so I, I make up my melting basket and then I have my, give myself two weeks to get through it. And then at the end of the two weeks, um, do like my reviews and my thoughts and stuff. And to show you guys like if A, I actually did get through it or B, if I didn't, but I think I got a little bit behind, um, with weather and work and personal life things just happen. Um, so I think I'm, like I said, a little behind. I'm tired today. I apologize if I seem out of it. It's been a day and it's only Monday. Um, but so I have my empties. So I know what my, what have I been warming or my melting basket that I did. I did a little bit of vendor wax and I did a little bit of my Scentsy wax and I did get through quite a bit. I'm pretty proud of myself. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do my melting basket, one video from everything, and then the individual reviews and thoughts, I'm going to do the Scentsy and then the Vendor. Splits it up a little bit, and then it just makes it a little bit easier. If it's like, if you guys only want to see Scentsy or you only want to see Vendor because I'm getting into some Vendor wax, then that way you can kind of pick and choose. You don't have to worry about sitting through something like, come on, just talk about what I want to hear. So this is all... My Scentsy goodies, everything is wax but two items, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the big bag that doesn't even fit my bas my bag, my basket. Um, I went through an entire soak, which never happens. <laughs> I've got little bits of other so soaks that I love, and I'm like, no, like, I want to hoard it forever, but, like, why would I hoard it if it's available in the catalog and not actually enjoy it and use it? So I got through a whole soak. So this is our Tangerine Watermelon Scentsy Soak, which was new this catalog season, which I have to order a second bag of because it's just that good. So Watermelon Tangerine is Watermelon Slices, Juicy Tangerine, and Dewy Greens. It, oh, it smells so good. It's fruity. It's fresh. It's like the perfect relaxing bathtub fragrance. Like I know that's probably weird and the fact that I tilted my head like that is probably a little weird. But it's just, it's so, it's so fruity and happy and relaxing. And, oh, it's just perfect. Um, so our Scentsy Soaks are made with Epsom salt and pink, hem pink Himalayan bath salts. So it will help soothe sore muscles. They help soften up and loosen your skin. You come out smooth and smelling amazing. It's just perfect. And I live in the bathtub. So, like, it's wonderful. Um, so I went through a whole two-pound bag of this. Now, granted... I didn't go through the whole two pound bag in two weeks. I had kind of started it and this wasn't in like my melting basket because you don't melt it. Um, so I like worked my way through. This probably takes me about a month to get through one of these with like two to three baths a week because I work in retail and you, you need that work in a retail. Um, <laughs> but I'm a horse person. I do a lot of heavy lifting and stuff too. So this stuff really helps with my back and my sore muscles. And then I have one other wax item. So I just added these into like my what have I been warming, melting, what have I been going through, whatever you want to call it. Um, just because it's something that I know is new in our catalog this season. And I feel like if you guys hear about it, 
whether it's something you've been thinking about or not, it gets you thinking. And where do you go in order? That's completely up to you. That's not my goal on here. I just like talking and sharing things. So this is number one. So stinking good. Which is fine because I got two other bath soaks in or scent soaks, whatever. I call them bath soaks because that's what they are. I got two more new ones in, so I made room on my shelf. It's all good. And then I went through a pack of dryer discs in Luna. These guys are amazing. They come in a two pack and each dryer disc lasts about, I think it's 16 loads. Um, but fun tip, if you place your dryer disc in, so like if you have the dryer discs and the washer whips in the same fragrance, place these guys in your tub of washer whips and it extends the fragrance on how long your dryer disc lasts. So I went through two of those. I think my my last one is actually in the dryer going right now. But he's definitely on his downhill fade. So everything that's left is wax. So some of these either A, aren't available because they were a previous collection or last year, or B, they sold out. Um, the first one that I happened to grab is a limited time offer, which did sell out, which was the Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl, which I know it's not focusing on the words. I'm not really quite sure how to get that without shoving my finger in front of the screen, so we're just going to go with it. You can kind of see it a little better back here. Um, this is so good. It's so good, it went right into my club. I actually started a second club. That's how good it is. Um, so it's just a really... It's a really pretty fruity fragrance. Like it's, so it's not in the catalog, which I did grab. I was actually prepared today, guys. I'm pretty proud of myself for a Monday. It's just like a really pretty fruity fragrance. I couldn't tell you the scent notes off the top of my head, but it's like some kind of berry fruity. It's fresh as well, so it's like mixed like a fruity fresh fragrance. It's so good. Which, if you didn't get the chance to snag this while it was available, you can still put it in your Scentsy Club. It's so good. I have an order coming next month with this bar. I might go and up it to two bars instead of one bars. That's how good it is. So that was a Kiss the girl. Super cute too. Like just adorable. We have, which I do have the catalog for, this guy is in here. Oh, I flipped right to his page. So we have Vanilla Waves. I think it's the lighting, which is like really sad, but you guys are sitting on my windowsill. So like, even though it's cloudy today, like it's the perfect amount of lighting. I do have my big light on above me, but that's fine. So Vanilla Waves is sea salt and whipped vanilla crushed into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. It is just such a warm, cozy vanilla bakery fragrance. It's I, I personally don't get any caramel when I melt or smell this on cold or empty package. Um, I really just get a fluffy whipped vanilla fragrance. It's so it's strong. Oh my god, it is so strong. I, so at home at my parents' house, I'm on the top floor above like the dining room area. So I'm all the way at the other end of the stairs. So like you go up the stairs and then you go all the way down the hallway to my room. I can smell this all the way down the hall. It's so strong. It's so good though. Like it's a really good, yummy, cozy fragrance. And I mixed it with a couple of things. So I mixed this with, it's like it looks white, but it's the lighting. I mixed this with Blue Grotto. So then the like citrusy mixed with like the creamy vanilla was really nice. I mixed this with, mixed it with something else. I think it's in this bag. <laughs> Honestly, couldn't tell you. But this is a really good um, mixer as well because it's got that nice warm vanilla base to it that kind of levels out some other things so I will definitely probably be picking up another one of these. I know a lot of my customers like it. Ah this is what I mixed it with. So this released last summer in their international wax collection. This is strawberry and rock melon which is just a really pretty strawberry melon fragrance. It's strong. It's a lot stronger than I remember. 
so good. So I mixed, I did one cube to one cube, and then this made like a really sweet, fruity, strawberry, creamy mix. Kind of like strawberries and cream, but not quite. Um, because of the melon in this, it was it's so good. Like I tell you, everything is so good, but this was, I was really impressed. This was really good. So I went through a whole one of those, which is super sad because I didn't put it in my club. I don't even think I had a club when like I got this collection. Like it was a new thing for me, and I was like, eh. Like I melted two bars last, two cubes last year, and I just finished the rest within the last two weeks and I was like eh like it's good it's light it's fine I'm kidding you like not even kidding you it got stronger as it sat and now I'm kicking myself in the head this is just so good we have from our catching z's collection shut eye which I didn't add this I added two of the collection to my club I didn't add this one this one it was too powdery for me it's like a musky rose powder. I think it's jasmine, not rose. Like a musky jasmine powdery fragrance. And it was good. It's nice and soft and subtle, but like enough that in the morning I could wake up and still smell it. It just, that like powdery part, that's not me. I don't do the the powdery part. I, like it's the, usually artificial or it's too, too much. Um, so it was good. I'm glad I got through the whole bar. I really did enjoy it. It's just not club worthy, which is fine. It saves me money. I won't complain. This one. So this is Catching Z's Lights Out. I added this one to my club immediately. It is so good. It's, oh, it's like bergamot and musk and sandalwood and like a couple other things, but clearly they're not important. I don't remember them. Oh, it's so good. It's not powdery at all. It's just a nice, fresh calming cozy fragrance and honest to god I think it helped me fall asleep I am a terrible falling asleep person once I'm asleep I'm fine but it takes me a while to get there I think it's because like I'm a go 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 person so like I'm physically tired but my brain at night is like no like we have to still go 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 <laughs> it's just it's not fun and honest to god I this fragrance mixture scent mixture whatever you want to call it was just so like like so nice and calm and relaxing that like I honestly think I fell asleep faster and it's in my club so I will have it forever I'm so excited so that's lights out two more we have oh I have this one's in the catalog I'm like kind of prepared Oh, it's right in front of my face and now I'm dropping it so we have oh snapdragon which is exotic blood orange and sparkling pink pineapple are punctuated by fierce snapdragon you know what I smell with this one and I'm not complaining about I smell strawberries I smell straight up strawberries which is fine again like I said I'm not complaining it's really good um, but on cold, like just smelling the container, I smell straight up strawberries. Strawberries and pineapple. That's what I smell. I don't get any blood orange. Even when I was melting it, I didn't get any orange. Um, I didn't know Snapdragon had a fragrance or a smell. Um, I get strawberries and pineapples. Which is fine. I absolutely loved it. I love this fragrance. I actually, I made a couple samples for a couple of my customers and they really liked it too. Um, I just got back from the barn. I think might be a horse hair stuck in my throat. <coughs> oh. So it's good. It's nice and fresh and fruity and it's super crazy strong, which I'm really happy about, but I just get strawberries and pineapples. It's like that nice spring to summer transition like that short period of time where like it's still spring but like summer's right at, like right around the corner two days away this is like perfect and then the last one is also in here somewhere ha. I was really shocked I like this one this one was in my melting basket I was really surprised so I branched out and I tried 
I got a text message, sorry. <laughs> I tried 100 Acred Wood, which look at that cute little label. Let's grab your favorite hand and wander through a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet cozy vanilla. So I'm funny about jasmine and cotton fragrances. They're either too artificial or they're too powdery. But the vanilla mix in, it's so good. It's just, honestly, I had this going at night because it's that cozy, warm fragrance. It's so good. And I'm really happy I picked up two bars because I went through a whole one in like a week. Because So I leave my warmers on all night long. I'm not home all day. So when I'm home at night, yeah, okay, I don't smell them while I'm sleeping. But they're on right when I wake up in the morning. And that's the first thing I wake up to. And that's important to me. Um, this, this was like the perfect sleepy time. I thought I heard something outside. I'm a little distracted, like I said. It's like the perfect sleepy time fragrance melt. It's so good. I'm so, my leg is falling asleep. No. Guys, I, I'm a struggle today. I apologize. Bear, bear with me. Um, it is so stinking good. And I can't get enough of it. It's potentially club worthy. We'll see how I feel after melting two bars. If I like it after two bars, like if I go through two bars, then, and I just like want more, it goes right in my club. It's just so good. It's so good. 100 acre woods. It's just such a cute little picture and package. I love Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is like my favorite. So that is it. That is all everything. My bag is so light now. <laughs> it's like not overflowing, busting at the seams. Um, so that's it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Comment down below. Message me. You guys know the drill. Hang out the rest of the week with me as I go through more wax endeavors. Um, it's it's going to be a week. It's, it's going to be a good week. We're going to, let's just stick with that. It's going to be a good week. But that is it. Thank you guys for hopping on. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I missed that in the beginning. Um, but anyway, I will see you next time. See ya.